Hey everyone, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and welcome to part four of my Isotope Ozone 7 series. In this video, I'm going to give you a rundown of the Vintage EQ module. I should mention first that the Vintage EQ module is not available in the standard version of Ozone, only in the advanced version. The Vintage Tape and the Vintage Compressor modules are also not present in the standard version. The standard version also does not allow the ability to use the modules as individual plugins. So I have the Vintage EQ loaded up on my master output. I've bypassed the equalizer module that we added in part two, so we're not hearing that right now. The Vintage EQ is modeled after two well-known Pultec EQs from the 50s, the EQP1A for high and low frequencies, and the MEQ5 for the mid-range. One of the studios I work at has a pair of EQP1As, and I use them all the time for mastering. And one of their interesting features is that they have knobs for both boosting and cutting the lows and highs. You wouldn't think that you'd want to boost and cut at the same time because you'd assume that they'd cancel each other out, but believe it or not, they don't. This can actually result in some nice tones where you can boost the lows with a slight dip higher up. This is very similar to the vintage shelf shape in the equalizer module that I showed in part two. So let's give our track a bit of a bass boost with a low shelf. You have five frequencies. 20, 30, 45, 60, and 100 hertz. 20 and 30 seems to be best for boosting sub bass. 100 hertz tends to boost the mid range bass. And I find 45 and 60 are nice for mastering to add some nice sub and low mid range body to the bass. Now let's add some shimmer to the top end. The high boost is a peaking filter, and you can adjust the Q or bandwidth here. You have seven frequency options between 3000 Hz and 16000 Hz. Let's hear these. Like I said in part two, I like to cycle through the options with the band boosted way up, just so the tonal differences are obvious. Then I find the band I like best and then tame it down. Also ignore the vocals at this point. They need some work and we'll address those later, they're pretty much getting buried in the mix right now. So I like the way the 12K boost is giving us a nice high end lift. The high cut is a very gentle low pass filter. We're not going to use that here, but we'll use it elsewhere later on in this video. This whole bottom half affects the mid range. This is the section that's modeled after the MEQ5. There's three controls, all of which are peaking filters, a low mid boost, a mid cut, and a mid high boost. On the low mid boost, the 200, 300, and 500 Hertz options are good if you're missing low mid-range bass, and I find 700 and 1K are useful for pulling up the mid-range of the guitars. With the mid-cut, if you've got a mix that's a bit too crispy in what I like to call the megaphone range of 1 to 5K, you can try putting a slight dip in one of those bands to play it down. However, your vocals often also suffer. For drums, I like to cut 500 hertz to get rid of ring and boominess. With the high mid-boost, you can usually help the vocals come out a bit more and get some better high mid focus. I often bump up 2 or 3k on my masters a touch just to make the vocals sound a bit more focused. Let me play around with all three of these and I'll settle on something that sounds nice.
All right, so I settled on a 700 hertz boost to bring out the guitars a bit. I didn't really find a good use for the mid cut, and I boosted 3K a bit to help with the vocals. Let's AB the vintage EQ against the equalizer setting we added in part two. In terms of adding color and depth to the master, the Vintage EQ really kills it. So I'm going to bypass the EQ and go with the Vintage EQ here instead. You can also do mid-side processing like we did before with the equalizer. So let's pull down the high boost a bit for the mid-channel and boost the highs and cut the lows for the side channels. Next, let's add the Vintage EQ to the bass. We'll do a bass and mid-range boost and cut the highs. Let's hear that in the mix now. Now let's give our vocals a slight lift. I'll use this nasal attenuation preset as a starting point. You keep setting fire, you keep setting fire below me. Just keep tearing me apart, push your kiss straight through my chest. I live in fear of the fire below me. One moment I'm alone in this world with you. One moment I'm setting fire to a thousand dreams And you keep setting fire, you keep setting fire below me She's still pretty low in the mix, and the master out is peaking pretty high up. So let me pull down all of my auxes and then pull her vocals back up.
All right, so that's the Vintage EQ in Ozone 7. Remember, if you'd like to work along with me, or you just want some more multi-track material to practice mixing and mastering with, this session is available for purchase and download. I'll leave a link in the video description below. I hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.